Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about the very basics of how cells work. Cells, as in eukaryotic cells, the cells of mammals including humans, are a very complex structure that work together to actually undertake the functions that are animal and human. Fundamentally a cell is a large packet surrounded by cell membrane. Now cells can come in all shapes and sizes. We usually draw them as spheres or circles but in reality very few are actually that shape. We have cells that are rectangles, cubes, and we have cells from tiny to enormous. Think about the neurons in a whale. They may have a cell that's the whole length of that whale, 20 metres long. So cells do come in all sorts of variations. However, fundamentally all cells have some very common features. At the core of almost all cells is a nucleus. And that nucleus contains the DNA. DNA is fundamentally the rule set by which a cell operates. And we'll talk in a separate video about how that actually acts on the cell. A nucleus is surrounded by cell membrane, fundamentally of a similar structure to that of the cell membrane that surrounds the cell on its outer surface. A cell also contains various organelles floating around in the cytoplasm. One of these organelles is called mitochondria. Mitochondria are fundamentally the powerhouses of cells. And they take ingredients, mitochondria, they take ingredients, in particular oxygen, and convert it into energy. And energy within a cell is transferred around by a substance called ATP. But really that is just the electricity for a cell. And mitochondria are responsible for that production of electricity. They have a really interesting quirk, mitochondria in that they are purely from your mother and they contain a little bit of DNA within them. In fact, historically, many tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years ago, mitochondria were an infection that were then adapted to use within a cell to produce energy. And at some point we'll come back and talk about that little stretch of DNA that you find in mitochondria. Another structure you find within cytoplasm of cells is called rough endoplasmic reticulum. It's called rough because when you look at it, it has these sort of dots or roughness on the string. And each of these dots are actually ribosomes. And those ribosomes are critical to the function of a cell. So rough endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for the production of proteins. What happens is instructions come from the nucleus to the ribosome and the ribosome then converts those instructions to produce proteins. And proteins are the fundamental operating activators within a cell. Proteins can have all sorts of functions. They can function within the cell. They can be exported out of the cell. For example, insulin and all sorts of hormones are types of proteins produced by the rough endoplasmic reticulum. On their journey to being exported out of a cell, proteins are often wrapped up in another organelle called vesicles. 
and these equals are little transport packets that are actually made of cell membrane that migrate around a cell and they can have proteins inside them that are then exported to the outside world. You can imagine a vesicle is something like a uh, packet or a envelope which transports uh, proteins around a cell and to the outside world. Other structures inside a cell include what we call cytoskeleton. A cell isn't just a bag of water, it actually has a whole bunch of skeletal elements that keep it in the shape it is. And these skeletal elements can have you know, proteins and all sorts of things attached to them and can act like a freeway to move elements around in a cell. This cytoskeleton even controls how organelles such as mitochondria where they sit within a cell. So when you see photographs of a cell you'll often see them in highly regulated structural fashions and these regulated fashions you know include holding the nucleus in a particular location or the mitochondria all at one end of the cell or the ribosomes and the raphidoplasmic reticulum all closely aligned with the nucleus and that fundamental structural arrangement of a cell is the response of the cytoskeleton. And they are the fundamental features that you see inside all common cells. There are many other features that uh, we will talk about when we talk about other important things. But in reality, we've looked at sort of the five or six core features of a cell. We've looked at cell membrane, responsible for controlling the internal environment of a cell. We've looked at a nucleus, which contains the DNA responsible for the governance of a cell. We've looked at mitochondria that take important things, primarily oxygen, the oxygen you breathe in, and convert that oxygen through to ATP, which is the electricity or the energy of a cell. We've seen rough endoplasmic reticulum, which holds a whole bunch of these little dots called ribosomes that are responsible for the production of proteins in a cell. We've also seen vesicles, little packets that are used to transport various proteins around a cell, and lastly, cytoskeletal elements that are really filaments within a cell that give it its shape and hold its organelles where they are. Thank you.